And uh, we want to welcome to our newscast right now James Koshiba and Sherilyn Inouye. And they are of Kanu, Hawaii. And they've got a big event going down this weekend, this Saturday, called Live Aloha. Before we get to that, first of all, good morning. And thanks so much for being morning, here. Dan. Really thanks appreciate it. On. And uh, James, uh, you're returning to our newscast right, right now. Remind people what Kanu, Hawaii is exactly. Sure. Well, as you know, um, Kanu, Hawaii is about people trying to be the change they want to see in their community. And so part of what we're doing for this campaign is calling on people across the islands to turn out en masse by the hundreds for service projects we've organized across the Hawaiian Islands. And we've called the campaign Live Aloha because right now we're in a situation where with the economy down and nonprofits and communities struggling, um, organizations are really relying more and more on volunteers to make ends meet. And here's an example. This is something you folks said. Right, this at, is uh, our last year's, last year's Live Aloha campaign. We came out in Kalihi Valley and Kuhio Park Terrace. This is one of our projects. We'll actually be going back there again to Kalihi Valley, several organizations. And Sherilyn's also heading up one of our projects in Waianae. Yeah, Sherilyn, talk about that uh, project in Waianae. What exactly are you folks going to be doing out there? So I'll be at Ma'o Organic Farms, and they're actually also a social organization, so they provide job training and a college education for their youth interns. And what we'll be doing on Saturday is helping with cleaning, with harvesting, planting, a little bit of weeding maybe. Um, but we're going to also have a potluck lunch afterwards and talk story with the people at Ma'o Farms and learn more about what they do. And uh, th there are going to be events all over the all state. All projects happening at the same time, actually, across this island and across the state. We have projects in Hawaii, Kai, Kalihi, Kaneohe, Waikiki Elementary School, as well as the neighbor islands. They're all taking place on the morning of this Saturday, June 19th. And you can check out www.kanuhawaii.org to sign up for any of those projects. That's right. You can remember that. It's really easy. Kanuhawaii.org. You can just Google it, and we have it uh, down there for you right now. And uh, it's something I, I have to ask you, and, and I've asked you this before, but uh, once again, why? Why are you folks banding together? This, these are some very impressive young professionals. You folks are in your 20s and your 30s, and you're, you're truly trying to make a difference. What is it out there that's making you give up your free time to go and do something like this? You know, I think there's two things. One is that people feel a connection to this idea of kuleana, of taking responsibility for addressing the problems in their community. And the other is when they see people committing to take action themselves, they're inspired to do the same. So we're trying to lead each other by example. And, and Sherilyn, how about yourself? Uh, I'm a teacher, so I guess for me, I look at it from an angle of getting kids involved and knowing that they're going to be our leaders one day. So I also think it's really important to get the youth involved, and that's why I really like Ma'o, because they really engage intermediate school and high school students as well. So we have leaders that are going to shape our communities, um, and we want to make sure that they are service-oriented. All right, once again, it's kanuhawaii.org if you're interested in taking a part of this Saturday's Live Aloha. And, of course, it will be a story that we're covering on KITV4 that, new, that day, so you can watch KITV4 News at 5, 6, and 10 Saturday for the latest on this event. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. And good luck with uh, Live Aloha.